Hey everyone, welcome to Pearls of Eden. Thank you for joining me. I want to talk to you really briefly about the Jezebel and the Ahab spirit. God has been placing this on my heart and it's really important in this hour that we don't just take what we see for face value because there's a lot of deception and falsehood. And if you don't know the story, I urge you to really read it for yourself about Nabal's vineyard. He had this vineyard that was given to him. It was his inheritance from his ancestors. He valued it. And Ahab came upon this vineyard and he wanted it for himself. But no matter what deal that he wanted to strike with Nabal, it was priceless to him. And he was not going to sell his land that was given to him. It was like this. It, it reminds me of Jacob and Esau. You know, Esau unlike Nabal, he did not value the inheritance that was given to him, the spiritual inheritance, the instruction of the Lord. You know, when we talk about the things of God, Esau sold it his birthright for a what? A bowl of soup. Now let's talk about Nabal because he's a picture of righteousness because we see Nabal who refuses to sell his birthright, his inheritance, okay? No matter what the price, no matter what king ahab offered he didn't want to sell it wasn't up for grabs because he understood of the value of what he had and when ahab could not get his way what did he do he went home he sulked he pouted and here comes his wicked wife queen jezebel who enables this type of behavior because what we will see with the jezebel spirit they are enablers they are also quite controlling in their own ways they're very jealous and envious ahab represents a spirit that is dominated by a controlling personality they enable bad behavior they are not godly themselves. So when you talk about a destructive combo that should have never been together, think about Ahab and Jezebel. Both of them traumatized, both of them dealing with all types of probably spiritual um, <clears throat> deficits, right? But here they are together and instead of making each other better, they enable each other to be the absolute worst, right? So what am I talking about? All right, so she sees her husband Ahab sulking because he didn't get his way. See, that's what that Ahab spirit is. When they don't get their way, they go and they pout. And here comes Jezebel. What are you pouting for? It's all right. We can get that vineyard. I'll get it for you. Didn't matter how she had to keep, scheme, manipulate, you know, because they are of their father, the devil. So guess what they're going to do? They're going to steal, kill, lie, whatever they got to do in order to try to get what they want. And so she goes and she gets gets people to she calls a fast you all <laughs> yeah she calls a fast she gets these people to come in to make and 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 to uh collaborate on a lie to stand up against the righteous man a ball so that they could take his land and you all i want you to understand that they were successful in that moment of their scheming and their plotting but not for long not in the long run but they fasted, they prayed, they collaborated together, they schemed, and they lied on a righteous man. False accusations. What am I saying? In this hour, be very careful that you're not a part of this whole Jezebel Ahab team because there's a lot of false accusations that are being thrown out. You cannot believe everything that you see on, you know, these networks. Let's just say that, okay? Because they all hire people to tell a lie. They'll hire people who are have no moral, no morals, and they will lie and they will deceive so that they can take what doesn't belong to them. Are y'all are y'all catching what I'm picking, picking that putting down? Okay, I hope you can read between the lines because you have to be careful up here on YouTube Street. Okay, so be careful what you're seeing on the media because this is what the Lord keeps putting in my spirit: the Jezebel Ahab. They are a treacherous duo. 
but they will do anything that they can to try to steal something that does not belong to them. So don't believe everything you see. In this hour, you're gonna have to have discernment like never before. And the problem is we've got too many people that don't have discernment because we have too many people that do not live lifestyles of fasting, praying, speaking in tongues, midnight prayer. We have too many people who don't do these things, but they wonder why they have no discernment and they fall for any and everything. Have you built up your spiritual inner man, child of God? Have you? So that you're not walking around deceived, but y'all be careful about the Jezebel and Ahab spirit. It's, it's treacherous. And it's a sad thing when a couple, a married couple comes together because who's going to help who, right? Both of them just as wicked as the days long. One is enabling the other to be the worst. No one guiding anyone and instructing them in the wisdom of God. Jezebel's a very jealous spirit. You know, it's always wanting to one up, always keeping a scoreboard. Jezebel is something else, you all. So be very, very vigilant. And if it's a spirit that you suffer for, from, you got to go to God. You know, he is able to free you from every captivity, every yoke. But you got to know that that's something you're dealing with. And so many people don't even know that they're a Jezebel. But the Holy Spirit will reveal these things to you. You got a lot of Ahabs that think they out here doing good for the Lord, but they're really walking in sin, you know. So... That's what I wanted to bring to you all. I pray that this was helpful. Where we're at six minutes, that's it. We're gonna make it short and sweet. Y'all be careful in this season. Everything is not what it appears to be. And I know you're gonna have to look a little crazy out here in these streets when you're going against the grain. Everybody's saying, go this way, vote for this person, do this thing. Y'all, the wide path, you better find that narrow path. You better have some discernment in this hour because it's about to get nasty. It's about to get nasty up in these streets. And if you ain't got no discernment, you'll fall for the okie doke. All right. Bye.